Hi guys, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Webdev. In this video, we will learn about how to make the HTTP request for the file. So for example, let's say that when you are trying to upload a file and you want to know the progress of the file, so how much the file has been uploaded. So if you want to know about this one means, so how we can do with this Angular 19 or 18 as standalone components, let's try to see. So for this one, what we need to know is the concept of this video is, so first of all, we need to understand about the HTTP client event stream. So the HTTP client can return a stream of raw events that represent various stages of the HTTP request response lifecycle. So normally these events include the first one is the request sent indicates that the request has been dispatched or not. So then we can know the second phase is upload progress reports the progress of uploading data to the server. And the last one is the response header received indicates that the server, that the server has responded with the status and headers. The last one is download progress reports that the progress of downloading the response body and response received the entire process including the body is available and we also we can also able to know about the progress events these are disabled by default for performance reason and can be enabled using the report progress to option so useful for tracking upload and download progress for the large files to observe the event stream set observe to events so that we can see about this one also let's try to see one one by one so here i will try to show you an example component for this one so for this one what i will try to do it is so i will drop it here and i will create a new component that is nothing but a file loader component so let's try to create the file loader component and also you need to understand that the http event types also each event in the event stream has a type field which that represents what the event is about common types include http event sent upload progress response and download progress response and also the user so these all things you'll try to see now so it will create the file let it create so here the file loader component has been created so let's try to uh, let's try to go into our uh, http file oh sorry here this one only so here i will be opening the file loader component.ts file so this is our ts file so before this one so i will open this file loader component.html file also so here in this one i will try to create one div and in this div i will be having one h1 and here file upload event i will reduce it like this and now we will be having a form and in this form i don't want action and all those things so here you will be having one div okay and in this div i will try to do a label and here file and here i can use something like upload file okay anything so now we are uploading a file and let's go to the div here and in this due, I will be having an input type is equal to this one will be a file. And here I what I want to do ID is equal to file. So this is the component we are having. And at the final, I will have one button. So button, button, and this one is submit. That's it. So this is a simple form upload file. And let's go to here and let's import this reactive forms module. And in the Angular 19, so the standalone true is completely default. So if you don't mention here means automatically the component will be standalone by default only. So if you want to make it as a non-standalone means then you need to mention the standalone and you need to give it as a false. So then it will become the standalone component, not a standalone component. So this one is by in, from the Angular 18. So the standalone true you need to provide it from Angular 19 onwards. So there is no need to provide standalone true by default or by default this component is standalone only if you don't mention it so here i will be having a form group so form group is equal to new form group where is this form group yeah new form group so new form group and here i will be having a file and this one will be new form control of so by default i will keep it as a null so this is our form group and let's go to our html document and here i will load it with a form group so form group is equal to i will use the form group and for this one i will provide it as a form control name form control name is equal to file so here i will try to check when this change is happened so here i will try to use something like on file selected or something like that okay so that you can able to see so what is the thing which is happening on file selected of dollar event i will try to take the event that's it so now here on file it is selected let's go to here and here i will try to use on file selected and i will have to, 
and I will get it as an event of type event and in this one so let's try to do um, constant file is equal to event dot target as HTML input element let's say show okay so here if you try to do the console dot log of file means you will be able to get the uh, sorry you can get it as an input let's try to take it as an input only then it will be fine it will be very understandable so now when we try to select the input let's try to see in the inspect element let's go to the console and let's refresh this page okay so we are not we have not started the server so let's try to start the server in the meantime let's go to the app.component.html file and here I will try to use the app iPhone file iPhone loader and I will try to include the component in this one also so let's wait for until this build is completed let's wait it here it has been loaded let's try to check the here localhost iPhone 4000 so we should be able to see the output so why it is not loading yeah it's loading so here we should be able to see the form upload and all those things so now let's go into our file loader component.ts file and here we need to check the console also right when the user upload yeah here so now when i select a file something any file so let's say that uh, i am uploading an html file let's say show so when you're trying you are able to get an input thing so let's let's see about this one so whenever you get this one so we can able to get this one as input of files okay input of files means then if you try to select an element here in this one and here if i try to select it so here you'll be able to see a file has been uploaded and the size and all those things we are able to get it so now so what i want to do it is i will create here a selected file which is of type sorry file which is of type file oh sorry which is of type file or null is equal to null okay and here in this one this dot selected file is equal to so i want to select input dot files of zero so i will be having only one file okay so i will remove this one input dot files of zero so you here you can select something like um, if input dot files dot length it is there then only you select it as of zero okay and here you can keep a question mark that's it so now finish so now on file selected is completed so here what i want to do it is in our file loader component.html file so here when the user tries to submit ng submit i will be writing something like on submit method so this is the on submit method and here in this one i will write on submit so here we need to provide http so i will try to call the http thing so in order to call this HTTP thing, so what I will try to do it is, so here we will be writing the HTTP progress and all those things. So let's try to see it here. So now if you see here, now when I am when I am trying to upload this file, so any file, any file, PNG file if I am trying to upload it, and here you will be able to see the files details and all those things. Now when I click on the submit, so we need to submit this one to the server and we need to show the upload progress bar so if, if, it, if we are uploading any big file means then we need to show the upload progress bar so how we can show this one i will try to explain you in the uh, next video so now this is how we will be implementing the file upload and here we will be able to get the files details in the angular thing so hope you understand about this concept if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you